Carfax is a well-known brand and company, consumers and dealerships use to acquire vehicle history reports in the US and Canada. These reports are often referenced before buying, selling, or trading in a car. The company was founded in 1984 as a way to help dealerships combat odometer fraud, with reports initially distributed via fax machines. The company is now a subsidiary of publicly listed IHS Market, which recently announced a merger with financial information giant SNP Global and also offers other services, including an online used car marketplace. Prospective car buyers often want to see a Carfax report to check for any history of accidents and a vehicle's overall service and ownership background. Dealerships are often known to provide prospective customers a complimentary Carfax report. Note, sometimes damages such as flooding can be hidden from a Carfax, but having a Carfax report is still a good reference and is recommended before buying a car. Auto Marketplace also recommends getting access to an auto check report, Carfax's main competitor, as another helpful reference. If you cannot obtain a Carfax report from a dealership or vehicle owner, you just need the VIN of the vehicle you are looking at. VIN, short for Vehicle Identification Number, is a unique 17-character serial number every car has. A dealership or a vehicle's owner will be able to provide you the VIN. The VIN can also be found in the lower right hand of a car's windshield, the door jam, and a vehicle's title or registration documents. Once you have the VIN, go to Carfax.com and click on Get Carfax Reports. Then enter the VIN and click Get Carfax Report. Afterwards, you'll come to an Overview and Payment Options Summary page that outlines the vehicle's history, the number of records found, and confirms the car, make, model and year. In this example, we're going to pay $100 for six reports or $16.67 per report. If you expect that you need multiple reports in the near future, because you will be inquiring about multiple cars, it's better to buy the multiple report options, as it's a better value for money. It's important to note that report access typically expire after 60 days. Once we enter in our payment details, we'll get an email receipt and confirmation, plus access to the report. At the top of the Carfax summary report, they provide a get cash offers option for the vehicle but we won't be overviewing this selection in this video. Underneath that, they provide some vehicle history events that go into generating a valuation for your vehicle, as well as an estimated Carfax calculated retail and trade-in value. The vehicle's details including make, model and year are in the top left-hand corner as well as under the vehicle history report summary. In this example, the vehicle has no history of accidents, has an open recall, and has been used commercially. It also reveals the number of service records, owners, and the last odometer reading. As we can see, we find out this car has had two owners, the first being a personal lease, and the second owner, using the car commercially as a taxi. Carfax provides us with estimated miles driven per year under each owner, and the state the car is, and was, registered to. Unsurprisingly, we see the vehicle's average miles per year is much higher when it becomes a taxi with the second owner. As we scroll down, Carfax confirms the vehicle has a clean title and odometer. In other words, the car wasn't salvaged, junked, rebuilt, subject to other major damages listed, like flooding, or had its odometer manipulated. Under additional history, the report continues to confirm the car is clean, except for one outstanding recall, which we'll get to shortly. It also reveals the car's original warranty is expired, which is unsurprising, given the vehicle's age and mileage. As we scroll down, we get a fairly detailed service, inspection, and registration history, with associated mileage. Finally, on November 15, 2021, we see the outstanding recall mentioned, which relates to an emissions recall. 
We likely want to mention this to the seller before purchasing this car. Or if we are a seller, we would want to take care of this before listing the car. The Vehicle Highlights tab provides a condensed summary of the full report history. The Warranty Check tab provides historical warranty information, including the original warranty start date. In this example, the main warranties such as drivetrain are expired. The Buyback Guarantee tab confirms a one-year Carfax buyback guarantee if you find that the vehicle's title is not clean. Going back to the main vehicle history report summary, it's very important that you print out the report, as reports typically expire within 60 days. If you log back into your Carfax account, you'll be able to access any report you've ordered. It also confirms which reports are still active and which have expired under your account. We hope you found this video helpful, and please let us know any questions in the comments section below or by emailing us at info at automarketplace.com.